Here's a story from Grandpa for my three favorite little girls, Emma, Ayla, and Audrey. Living in the desert southwest, I see quite a few cactuses, also called cacti in the plural. Many of them have very sharp needles that we try to avoid as much as possible, and the goal is usually to keep your distance from them. So we don't often think of them as having feelings, of being hopeful, of wanting to be a part of things, but that's exactly what happens in this story about a little cactus at Christmas time. Here's the story, The Christmassy Cactus. Written by Beth Ferry, illustrated by A. N. Kang. Tiny Cactus lived on a big brown bookshelf. In the heart of the house and the hearts of her family. Every morning, her little girl said, Hello, my little cupcake. And every evening, she cooed, Who's the sweetest little bonbon? Then one morning she said something she had never said before. Time to decorate for Christmas, little ginger snap. And tiny cactus saw things she had never seen before. Shimmering things, sparkling things, twinkling, tinseling, transforming things. I cannot wait to be decorated, Tiny Cactus told her friend, the elephant. I can't wait to be a part of Christmas. As she waited, new smells swirled from the kitchen. New songs floated through the air. And Tiny Cactus just knew something special was going to happen. Christmas books crowded the bookshelf, but Tiny Cactus didn't mind because they were full of amazing things. Things like Santa and magic and wishes. A wish, she told the elephant, is exactly what I need. Because sometimes, just lately, her little girl forgot to blow her kisses or call her little cupcake. Sometimes she forgot about her completely. And Tiny Cactus knew why. How could anyone remember a tiny green spiny thing when there was a great giant green piney thing sparkling in the living room. It was the most wonderful thing Tiny Cactus had ever seen. She watched her family gather around it, and she made her wish. It's not a big wish, she said to her elephant. It's really quite a small wish. Do you think the wishes of Tiny Cactuses come true? I think all wishes come true if you believe in them enough, the elephant said. So every night, Tiny Cactus whispered her wish until finally it was Christmas Day. Tiny Cactus watched her family rise and shine, hug and kiss, rip and unwrap, laugh and play. In the background, you can see the word fa la 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 Merry Christmas, Tiny Cactus, her little girl sang. But Tiny Cactus was not merry. Not one little bit, because she still wasn't decorated. Not one little bit. Not a sprinkle or a sparkle or a twinkle or a tinsel or a spritz. I don't understand, she said to her elephant that night, poking the Christmas books. In all these stories, wishes come true. Why didn't mine? The elephant carefully wiped away her tears. You have to believe in the magic of Christmas, he said. But it's hard to believe in the magic of Christmas when you don't feel like you're a part of Christmas. Look, he said, and pointed to the Christmas tree shimmering softly in the darkness, which was impossible, because Tiny Cactus had seen her family turn off all the Christmas lights. But there it was, twinkling and tinseling, and maybe, just maybe, telling her something. Maybe, just maybe, showing her. And that's when the window blew open. Tiny Cactus shivered in delight as snowflakes bounced off her head, twirled round her trunk, and swirled onto her spines. Soon she wasn't a tiny green spiny thing, but a fluffy white shiny thing sparkling with snowflakes. And for one magical moment, her Christmas wish came true. But snowflakes, like Christmas, don't last very long. Oh, no, said the elephant, they're gone. No, they're not, said Tiny Cactus, feeling each one melt into her soil. They're right here. 
The next morning, her little girl called, Hello, my little cupcake. Then she said something else she had never said before. Look at you. Oh, look at you. You've bloomed, my little bonbon. Her family gathered around her. I didn't know she was a Christmas cactus, they said. But she was a tiny, spiny, delighted, Christmassy cactus who had decorated herself. And that's the end of the story. I'm very glad that in this story, Tiny Cactus bloomed just in time for Christmas so that she could be a part of her family celebration. Even the biggest saguaro cactus puts out beautiful flowers once a year, and they are quite a sight to see. Blooms nestled among the needles is a dangerous kind of beauty that you want to be very careful of before even thinking about plucking them. Always remember that Grandpa loves you, especially at Christmas time, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.